wheel. There were actually two here. He said he was pulled in here to take a nap and leave. Oh. This one has a handicap placard and a one of those handwritten parking permit things again. Handwritten? Yeah, I don't know where it's from, but it's like it's familiar. car was it again? Um, a Malibu Chevrolet gray. Yes sir that one was uh, called for removal. It's an employee only parking lot. Well we thought it was okay for the village people that if we're gonna shop in the village. No the signs um, the signs say employees only. I didn't see that. Um, all right how do I get the car back? Um, as long as you're the registered owner, ID matches the registration of the, re of the vehicle, I can release it back to that registered owner. Uh, the cost is has to be cash. We can't do card or checks on the illegal parks. Dollars? Yes, sir. Um, I guess I have no choice. Uh, I do bring the car back to the lab, I hope. Uh, no, sir. I have to check registration to make sure ID matches before we release it. So you'd have to pick it up from the lot. Uh, 221 Newman Road, Gatlinburg. Wait a minute. I got to write that down. Hold on, please. We're, we're not for here. It's a rental car. Now, hold one second. Sure. Can you have any consideration? We are just, we just arrived and there are so many cars here. Yes, ma'am. Those are employees. It's an employee uh, employee only parking lot. No, no, they are not employees. They are. I saw them parking. They are uh, customers, uh, tourists. No, they are not. Uh, in the other side, yes. Okay. I agree, but in the other side, no. Well, the the, the, that, the tow truck is probably on his way for them. Well, I only pick up what they tell me is is not supposed to be there. So, um, if okay, if there's well, some, if there's somebody else there, then then they're more than likely there's a tow truck after them too. Yes, but that's not right. There is no, it's not clear. Why is it not it's fair, ma'am? It's not fair that you're taking up an employee parking spot. That's what's not fair. Nobody is working at this moment and taking the space. It's empty completely. Ma'am, they work and seven the cars, days a week. That, okay, the cars that are here are tourists. So. How do you know that? Because I saw some of them parking. And I, I said to them, listen, you better not to park because even when it's not clear this, the, in, our car is no longer here. Yes, ma'am. And we just park for a little what's, bit. What's the address again? Yes, sir. It's 221. 221. 221. Newman Road. Can you spell that, please? N E W M A N. I can't get it. I'm sorry, can you repeat? 221 Newman Road, N E W. N N E W. M A N. N A N. Newman Road. And is that in Gatlinburg? Yes, correct. And what's the name of the place? 
Uh, our company is Everything Auto. Are you have any consideration with us? I uh, mean, we just we're just called to do a job. I don't I don't go and pick out which one we're taking or give anybody uh, any certain. I don't break. know what to tell you. Our car wasn't the only one here. Well, ma'am, that still doesn't make it. That still doesn't make it right for you to park there, just because somebody else is breaking the law doesn't give you the right to break the law. It's a lot of money. I mean, AAA would charge me fifty dollars. Well, I, we're not a part of AAA, and it's an unattended tow, no keys, no keys, tight parking spot. It's uh, you, you got. You got to just pay to park. That's the simple thing. How how far away are you from where we are? Um, if you're walking, it's about an hour. Oh, no, I can't walk that far. Uh, do, you have do you have taxis? Uh, yes, we have cabs in the area. We have Uber. We have Lyft. Uh, how late are you open? Uh, I don't have anybody at the gate, but if you're telling me you're going to be there, I can get somebody within 30 minutes. So you'll have to give me a phone call and say, hey, I'm going to be there at such and such time, and then we can get somebody to meet you at the gate. Okay. Um, and you're how far away if I'm in a car? Uh, in a car ride, probably five minutes. All right. As soon as I get into a cab, I'll, I'll call you. Okay. Thank you. What, did you. what is your name? My name is Jeff. Jeff? Yes. Uh, all right. My name is... Okay. Appreciate you. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye. <laughs> Somebody was losing their patience today. Salty. Somebody salty. I had to get, I had to get a little salty. You were salty today. I'm not salty. You were salty today. Well, it's been a bad day. It's been a bad day, guys. I'm not going to go into any any of my personal life details, but it's been a bad day. And and I don't understand that. I really don't. People people just well, other people are are breaking the law, so I'm going to break the law and and uh, and I should be fine. I guess that's the part that that really aggravates me. You should give me a break, and there, and uh, well, there's people parked here now, right now. There are other people here that are not. How do you know that? For one, they don't know who is an employee and who's not an employee. And two, just because they're breaking the law it doesn't give you the right to do the same thing. It's not. That is not how this works. So, sorry. And my rant. You don't pick and choose, which you're, you're like, no, I'm not going to get them. If they're yeah. supposed to be there, they're not supposed to be there, I gotta go. That tourist, they look like nice people. We'll just, we'll leave that one there. That's not how this works. Mm -mm, That's no. not how this works. But anyway, stick around, stay tuned. The pickup should be interesting. Everything auto. Yes, hi, this is, oh, we're on our way to get the car. I spoke with you earlier. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, you guys close by? Yeah, we're five minutes away. Okay, I'll see you guys in a bit. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Hi. Hello. How are you? Hi. Been better. <laughs> if you got keys, I'll bring it up here for you. Um, you say you're the you're the one on the rental agreement? Yeah. Okay. If uh, yeah. I'll have to drive it up here for you. They won't. They won't let me let you drive on the property. I'm sorry. No problem. Let me go get it for you. And as long as your ID matches, I see right now you got a credit card. I I can't do car. Receipt, we can do that absolutely I wasn't gonna leave you let, let you leave without a receipt yes sir And if you've got that rental agreement, so I can make sure your name is on that, please. It's in the glove compartment. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. You're cleaning us out. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no the paid parking lots are much cheaper, I promise. I'm expensive. There were a lot of cars there. There's still all of them. Did you keep 
It says that you're an attorney on your caller ID. Is that true? That's true. That's the truth? You ever had anybody complain that you're, you're too expensive? <laughs> you had to have. Come on. <laughs> there's, there's, yeah, but I wouldn't charge somebody dollars for doing you know, 15 minutes worth of work. Well, it's 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 much more broad than that. I just know. just like being an attorney, it's it's a lot of uh, there's a lot of things involved in that. The only reason I don't run cards on these is because obviously everybody's upset, and then they just dispute the charges, and then we're doing this stuff for nothing. Let me get you that receipt. I understand. He would never charge somebody so much money for 15 minutes worth of work. Yeah, it's right there. Mind if I take a picture? Sure, go right ahead. Have a good day. Pay to park. <laughs> All right, guys, I don't know, an attorney. He decided he wanted a picture of my license plate for some odd reason. He said I didn't have one. I said, no, it's, it's on the back of the truck there. You know, I, attorneys are, you know, they're the same as tow truck stuff. You know, we, it takes special equipment. It takes, I'm not, I'm not taking away from anybody. And if they're, it's, it's expensive. And if he's gonna say that, you know, I'm, I'm too expensive, what's, what's there to say that he's too expensive? Anything else to add to that? I think that's, yeah, I can see it. So guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. We're over here in Pigeon Forge, just right beside the river. Uh, I, got a, I got a phone call in and it was the wife. She said, I bet you don't get the wife calling, making fun of uh, <laughs> the husband. And they're, they're in a four wheel drive Jeep and they are stuck down here. I guess he uh, took a wrong turn, tried to turn around. And, and uh, the Jeep is not being a Jeep. We're gonna see if we can help out. They seemed like they were making light of it on the phone, so. But we could see them on the other side. It looked like he just backed way down too far into it. It's soft sand. The Goose family. And yes, we get to see the Goose family. I'm guessing this is probably her. My goodness, that's a lot of babies. That's a ton of babies. Golly, there's at least. 10 or 12? Hello. I walked out and try to find a name for you. Uh, no, uh, it's okay. I'm telling you, my husband did this. He, uh, Not me. He's going to blame it on you, though, isn't he? No. no. He, was driving. <laughs> he told me I was driving back. But, thank you. You're welcome. We'll see what we can do. All right. <laughs> hey, it's a great day to be stuck. Yes, that's true. <laughs> it's not sunny. <laughs> it's really cool down there. Uh, we don't get to this side of the of the river very often. That would be him. It doesn't look that bad, does it? Mm -mm. You'd think four-wheel drive Jeep would climb out of that. I if it's bottomed out. You know, I guess that'd be the only thing that'd make sense, huh? Off the end of that, off the end of that barrier. Mm -hmm. Certainly, what it looks like, isn't it? Yep. We'll go take a look and see how bad it's bottomed out. You found a good spot. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's... So I'm going to be worried about your drive shaft. What I'm going to be worried about. Your, your drive shaft is... It's got some... Yeah, and it's got some pretty good gashes in it. Uh, it looks like, it looks like there was a pole, there was a pole drove into the asphalt and your drive shaft is, has been spinning on that pole that, um, but it might be okay. We'll get it up out of there and assess after that. I just want you to know that that's, and everything else on a Jeep is usually pretty good. They got skid plates, so 
We'll see if we can just get it to crawl forward. I guess that's going to be our best bet. Yeah, I just leave everything just like it is. I'm going to get everything set up and um, we'll get a good amount of tension on it. And then once I get tension set, I'll just have you go into neutral and we should be able to crawl right up out of there. Um, I apologize for having the bottom. <laughs> no, he's, we'll get we'll get it out of there. I just hope I just hope that drive shaft's okay. That's what scares me. Yeah. That'd be fine. Oh, go back in there. You want both? Make sure you can just the one. Just the one. Okay. I'm wondering if it's going to take me to have to pull the brake and jack it up a little bit for some rocks on that back tire. Do you think it'll come right He's going to climb immediately. Okay. Because it's, it's right on the edge of it. It just, it's just where it spun. It, it, it dropped down because it spun. Pretty solid. You want to winch? Okay. All right. If you want to, if you want to start it and uh, put it into neutral. Uh, no, transfer case would be fine in, in that. And then just release that parking brake for me. And he's ready when you are. Can I turn that way? It'll help a little bit. Yeah, just slightly that way. That'd be fine. Yeah, no gas. No gas. Okay. Okay. Yeah. A little bit more. It's coming. A little bit more. I may have to. I may have to go back over to that tree. Go to. Um, I'm gonna get a jack. I just don't. Back and park. It ain't going nowhere. Just give it a little bit.
A little bit more. And put it in neutral. Hang on just a second. Okay. Now hold now. Okay, now if you can go into neutral now. Okay. And there's no e-brake or anything? Yes, sir. Okay. You sh it should pull now. You go ahead. I'm going to let this down while you're pulling. Pull, pull. Pull. Hang on, hang on. It's okay. He's above that. No, I just need this side now. It's just barely on this other side. It'll probably come forward as I lift this side up. Okay, now you back into neutral again. Still in neutral, I got my foot on, foot on the brake. brake. Okay, let off the brake. Well, that, was a, that was a good sign. Okay, you should be able to pull forward now. It'll be good there. Right there. Hold the brake. Can you get off the car? Off the brake? Yep. That's hard. Awesome. Let off the brake slowly because you will slide back a little bit. Oh. Awesome. You're freezing out of the side. Yeah, I was just stuck on those. Stuck on those two frame, frame rails. Yeah. Yep, you're good. You might roll back a little bit. Awesome Jeep. <laughs> We've seen a lot worse. Listen, I I pulled a gladiator out of a uh He went down. I just don't mean to be bothering nobody now. You ain't bothering nobody. We yeah, we, we have we have it all the time, these mountain roads and these these driveways. I had a guy that he just went too far forward on his driveway and it was so slick, it went down. It went down an embankment like it was bad. And then it slid up against some trees and some briar bushes and scratched the whole. So you did good. Yeah. <laughs> you must be busy up here. Oh, it's, it's, I'm telling you, you shouldn't feel bad at all because we do, we constantly do this stuff. I mean, it's, you, you don't, you just can't see and then backup cameras don't show depth and they don't. You can tell this needed a tremendous amount of work. That should have been built up and it should have a little parking thing there to bump up against. But there's, I mean, that gives you every opportunity to be in bad shape right there. And it's not your fault. It's not your fault. Don't feel bad at all. <laughs> okay, guys, I uh, just wanted to, just wanted to kind of show. So you can see that was one tire. That was another tire. And well, all of these, scratches right here were drive shaft um, and over here is another pipe where it was in and that was caught on one of the one of the rails but uh, I mean guys this is I don't know if I can give you any context to so there's what that looks like I mean it, it all washed in and, and it's collapsed and it just needed a, a barrier there and and well once it came down, that Jeep just bottomed out, and uh, that's the situation he ended up in. Uh, I had to get it up high enough to where it, it wasn't uh, pulling really hard on, on some of that stuff. But uh, once we got the jack under there, got it freed up, it pulled forward pretty easy. Just a little bit of tugging. But what a beautiful day here on the river. I mean, you can't go wrong there. That's uh, that's really good time. We're, we're over here on the backside. So if you notice over here in the background, that's a Dixie Stampede. For those of you guys that need a reference, if you're hanging out at the Dixie Stampede, waiting for somebody to come out of the show or waiting for your show, the river's right across here. And we often see, you know, especially in the summertime, we get people over here that, that come out and wade their feet. But it's just a cool place, cool place to come check out the, all the ducks and geese and all of that good stuff. But we're gonna, we're gonna see if we can get back up here to the truck 
and uh, get off to the next. Now, that's the sight that you don't see every day. I feel like i got to share that with you guys. I mean, Jerry McCarter? You should comment on that. Jerry's, Jerry's been into the plumbing business his whole life, and I just wonder if he's ever seen anything like that. I'm going to guess he has. <laughs> I mean, that's, uh, that's one way to drain. I don't even know what they're draining, but whatever they're draining, it, it needed to happen right there by that tree. All right, guys, enough said. We're off to the next one.